Hey guys, welcome back to Chan Man's videos. Wanted to make a really quick video, show you guys uh, what. Sorry, just finished building my Psy Gundam, and this is the funnel effect part set. Wanted to show you guys what it comes with, um, and then yeah, just how it looks. Uh, I did add extra color. Uh, I painted additional gray tips to different parts. Uh, I wanted to break up the white. I felt that uh, he, he had too much white space, blank space, in between the shoulders and, and stuff. So uh, I bought a set of water slide decals from Delphi Decals for the Psy Gundam. And it looks, it looks great. It goes on the back of the wings as well, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But this kit does come with, um, sorry, this special set comes with water slides of their own, but I didn't use it. Um, okay, here are the 12 funnel effect parts. It also comes with a clear stand. And then this separate piece here is attached to the stand, and then you attach the 12 funnel parts uh, on each side. And I'll give you an idea what that looks like afterwards. There are the beam saber effects, the spare hands. Uh, this cover goes for the shield. And these two gray pieces are used for the flight mode transformation. Okay, so I've just moved everything around a little bit and uh, kind of just give you guys front view. Uh, sometimes I want to change my, I <laughs> think about changing my name to the Lazy Gunpla Builder because uh, I am really lazy. I tend to find cheats and, and hacks to, uh, to avoid doing work. Um, in the case right here, this seam line, <laughs> I just left it. Um, I was getting really tired when I was building. I was just like, oh, forget it. I don't think it looks that bad. And where I'm going to dis be displaying it, I'm not going to see the top of the gun. I really like the decals by Delphi Decals for this. They fit those seam lines. They fit the design overall very well. Okay, so little things I did, uh, as I was saying, in some of the areas here, you're gonna see a tip here and a tip there. Those are normally white. I painted them gray just to break things up. Same thing with the top of the knees. And then, here we go, just gonna spin them around a little bit. These thruster nozzles or vents on each leg, those are normally, those were left as flat gray. And even when I look at the stock photos and or the, um, the ones they post online for the kit, they're left gray. But as I was looking around, I noticed that pretty much everywhere that's uh, thrust or flight related is orange. So I'm like, well, that's where some thrust comes out as well. So I painted that orange. I also added another orange part there just to break up uh, the blue space. It was pretty much a dead blue. Not much there. On the back side, these two gray sections I painted gray and I added the red uh, just again to break up the white. And it has the Delphi decals there as well. I also added some green and red to the back skirts. Going around. I added red and green to each of the corners. Added orange to the interior of those two thrust, or sorry, those four thrust vents. You have your thruster nozzles. Again, thruster nozzles there. I used copper for the piping here behind the knees. So this is the Minovsky flight system. 
and I really didn't like the white shield. Uh, so I painted that red with gray versus instead of red and yellow. And of course the Mofti logo. The hands are interchangeable, pretty straightforward. Um, oh, here I'm just going to show something. I took the arm off and you're going to see the funnel missiles. They go on, you see them as a detail on the back of each elbow. There they are. Let's see if I can get the light around there. I don't know if you can see them there. Back of the knee. And then I'm just going to tilt it upward. Oh, where is it? There they are. Right there on the back of the skirt as well. So um, a lot of hidden detail. The flight system underneath uh, also has a lot of detail. I thought about painting that yellow or orange. Um, I might still do that, but I doubt I will. At this point, uh, I've been building this guy for over two weeks, building it, painting it, matting it, uh, water slide decals and everything uh, for over two weeks, so I'm pretty much done. Uh, I will do this, the effects part, and then I'm going to pop him out on the top of the shelf, and uh, I'll show you what that's going to look like after it's all done. So while I was uh, getting this ready for transformation to put on the display stand, I forgot uh, I put the chrome paint on each of these sides here and the reason I did that uh, was I wanted to see if I can replicate a, that uh, shine or that glow from the night battle. I watched the movie three times and uh, in that battle with the Penelope Gundam uh, in the night these were the parts that were lit up kind of white and blue for when it was flying and I just wanted to see if I can uh, replicate a little bit of that with using chrome silver so all right get different lights it actually looks pretty cool all right continue with my disassembly and reassembly okay and here it is on the stand and next thing I gotta do now is to put the funnel effects on it It's a bit of a parts formation, so I've taken the clips from earlier, which hold the wings, remove those and attach the new ones. These fins pop off, and then you have to fold the leg or the foot backwards and attach them back on. But it looks, it's huge. This thing is just massive. And before I start attaching them, I want to talk a little bit about the funnel effects part. So each effect part has two points, which means you can attach it vertically, you can attach it horizontally from the top or from the bottom, or flip it upside down. And that gives you um, some options on how you want to have the effects putting, uh, like launching. Um, I'm going to put even it up and probably keep it uh, symmetrical so try to keep them looking the same on each side but you can also have it asymmetrical you can have more launching on one side versus the other however you want to do it but uh, yeah that's a lot of fun let's do that now all right there it is so top down view uh, oh I don't think I mentioned these wings you can swing them outward if you want uh, like a tomcat but uh, I, I don't want to do that I like this Let's get a slowly pan down. And pull the phone out a little bit. And that's, yeah, that's how awesome it looks with the funnel effect parts. It's not, uh, I mean, it's not really posable, but uh, if I, for me, he's just going to sit on top of a shelf on the near the ceiling and uh, I'm just gonna leave him in a pose so I will do that right now all right there he is top of my room and so if I'm sitting down watching TV 
he will be up there launching missiles and I've already made room right beside him it's gonna go Penelope right there um, I might turn them slightly so that the missiles are more like they're launching at each other but uh, yeah it's pretty pretty cool piece to have decorating the top of your room my TV room or my man cave in the basement Looks pretty sweet. Sorry about the lighting. <laughs> I'm in my basement now. And yeah, there. Well, if you're curious, there's my six scale G.I. Joe figure. It's a phone. Got some Play Arts Kai, Resident Evil, Halo. Got my Yoda vs. Palpatine. Huge Star Wars fan as well. Um, if you guys are wondering, this is the Star Wars X-Wing miniatures game pieces uh, video games, PlayStation the Rebels and the Imperials are separated you've got Princess Leia Bush there just another shelf Up. There's a Armada miniatures it's where you have capital ships fighting each other instead of the fighters and then you get fighter pieces. And then just some more Star Wars. What we got there? Oh we got Gundam down here. These are from uh, Gundam Fix Figurations. And if you're wondering, yes, that is the uh, Cerevi, a black one. That's a Tamashii Nations. Uh, what I've got that, got that. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys.